Okay, so here one of them is. This is the older model F. Uh, give you the walk around of it and don't mind all the stuff sitting around it. I just got it home, just took the dolly out from under it, and I was playing with it a little bit. Um, so we'll just uh, give you a walk around. You guys can see what kind of shape it's in. Uh, you guys have seen the pictures, and uh, some of you guys probably think that these are things rotted out and junky. I think there's a lot of life left in it, to tell you the truth. Um, I mean, some stuff's war, but uh, nothing's really rusted out. I mean, it's going to need chains. The chains are stiff as a board, and it's going to need belts and hydraulic hoses which I don't believe there's many hydraulic hoses on this with it being a gear drive. You're going to have hoses for your power steering, for your um, cylinders. There's one up there, looks like, for the real speed. Um, a couple here for your variable speed, I believe. And... Uh, I think that's about it for hydraulic lines. Uh, and then belts, you know, they take a bunch of belts. But I have a dealer close that's supposed to specialize in getting parts for older Gleaner Combines. It's an Agco dealer. Um, they're supposed to specialize in getting that. But we'll show you what's, what's going on. Um, I've grabbed all the belts and everything. Like, I haven't grabbed the chains just because they're chains. And that one definitely needs replaced. Along with that one. Maybe it was the other combine. One of these the gears is like completely wore out. It might be this one. I don't know. But uh, I don't. I should be able to get all that just fine chains and gears. And uh, pulleys and stuff like that. But looking at it, nothing's rusted out of it. The bin's not even rusted out of it. I know it's galvanized, but my M2, the bin was rotted out of the bottom. Um, the engine does turn over. It doesn't turn over very fast. Now you see the F350's here and the excavator's here. I use the excavator to get it off the dolly. Just pick the dolly up, pull it out from under it. But I hooked a battery up to it and the F350. And I just wanted to see if it would turn over with a starter, and it does, but it's really slow. Either I'm not getting a good enough connection, or the uh, starter is weak. So, um, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. The doors aren't rotted out of them. I don't think this one is, no. Which, that needs to be opened and cleaned. So... Everything's in pretty good shape, and uh, I got that door. I had to take the corn head off of this one because it was about to fall off. It was only held on, you can see right there. That's where it was at. This rust marks from where I pulled it off, so I'll have to go pick that up with the trailer. All right, I had to stop the video. The uh, guy that uh, rents the ground out back here. He stopped. He's over at the neighbor's place feeding her dog. And he's a gleaner guy, international guy. And he's seen this. He had to come over here and see what was going on. But here's inside the cab of this one. When I had the battery hooked up, this light would come on and the door light would come on. And I can crank it over with the key from up here. You know, there's no battery in it now. But these are gear drive, com this is a gear drive combine. Here's your gears these are free which is good uh, you got your variable speed and then your header up and down Pretty, yeah here's your real speed and then your real height There's no variable speed belt on this one. I'm going to have to get one. I just noticed that. He was looking at it. Uh, clutch. It worked. It's free. Because I pushed it and it rolled off the dolly. Here's your park brake. 
There's your independent brakes. Uh, this engages the reel, I believe. Um, and this should engage your separator, I believe. Uh, I don't think it's hooked up. Or it could be your variable. No. I think that's your variable speed. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look. Um, cause I'm not, I'm not sure. My combine was all electronic. These are more manual. So I'm gonna need some weather stripping. I see, and a heater, heater. But oh, and there's your your engage and disengage for your unloading auger, which is a manual swing out. This is a F corn soybean special. So. But all the glass is good in it, which is a good thing. We got the good old fashioned spinner knob here. And you see I don't have any any steering, so uh, and the side shield is missing, it's right there. This looks like something for an auger or something. I'm gonna have to clean everything out, and wipe it, it's all covered in mouth piss and everything else. Um I noticed some of the gauges work. Uh, this combine says it has 2,488 hours on it. The other one's either 16 or 1,900. I am missing the side cover from here, but I know where there's a place I can get. Actually, right here's the side cover. I believe, yep. There she is. Bam. Get that coat of paint. Call her good. But I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. I believe we can get these to run. Um, might have to collaborate with the Combine MacGyver a little bit. He might have to give me some pointers. Although, my machines, I think, are going to be a little bit, a little bit faster to get running. I know his, his Oliver, which is... A pretty cool combine because I've never seen an old Oliver like that. It was quite the undertaking, and I got to give him credit for such an ambitious project because I don't know if I'd have been able to tackle that. These you don't got to paint; they're galvanized. If you do want to paint, it's just black or orange, white. But anyways, I got to clean up and go home, Casey hasn't seen me because I've been messing around with these but there's the walk around and somewhat of an overview next weekend I plan on getting the corn head for this and the other combine um, I'm borrowing a backhoe to pull the combine out and hopefully get the header loaded um, but we'll see so anyways Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos on the gleaners.